criminal charges announced today in the alleged Southwick racial bullying case that has rocked the regional school district. The Hammond DA now saying students are facing charges. Welcome everyone to Western Mass News at 5. I'm Chris Pisano. And I'm Abby Cornavalli. We turn things over to Western Mass News reporter Matt Price, who is live in studio with more on this announcement. And Matt, we understand the DA was very forceful here. That is exactly right, Abby and Chris. A lot of damning details revealed today by District Attorney Anthony Galuni and now six juveniles, all of whom at the eighth grade level are in serious trouble. Bullying, especially when it involves race, is an insidious fourth force within a school community and within a community at large. A very emotional Hamden District Attorney Anthony Galuni as he revealed late Thursday morning the findings of his investigation into alleged racial bullying at Southwick Regional School. Now six students between the ages of 13 and 14 are facing charges. One of them charged with interference with civil rights, threat to commit a crime, and witness interference. Another charged with interference with civil rights and threat to commit a crime, while four others were charged with threat to commit a crime. All of this dating back to February 8th and 9th, when a group of 8th graders interacted in a Snapchat group chat that featured very disturbing behavior. Several students uttered hateful and racist comments, including notions of violence toward people of color, racial slurs, derogatory pictures and videos, and a mock slave auction directed at two juveniles known to them. The DA says the existence of the group chat was reported to Southwick school authorities on February 9th, and the students involved were suspended on February 12th per state law from the Southwick Regional School. Two students were suspended for 25 days, while one was given a 45-day suspension. Galuni was personally made aware of this incident on the 15th, shortly after his office received a complaint from the NAACP of Greater Springfield. Western Mass News spoke with the president of the chapter, Reverend Talbert Swan, who spoke with Galuni before Tuesday morning's announcement, Swan calling the charges appropriate. He took the case seriously and um, hopefully this will provide uh, some level of justice for these families. We're glad that these individuals will now be held accountable for their actions um, and we'll see where uh, this goes in terms of the prosecution. Allison Lopez has told Western Mass News her daughter was a victim of the derogatory comments and online slave auction. She brought these allegations to light. In response to the announced charges, Lopez sent a statement to us, which reads in part, Moving forward, it is imperative that both the school district and the parents of those prosecuted take a long, hard look at how they have contributed to the environment that enabled these expressions of racial hatred to flourish. Only through reflection, accountability, and proactive measures to address systemic racism can we hope to prevent similar tragedies in the future? Swan also looking for accountability from the school district. There's no way that they can convince me that they took appropriate action. What they did was they took action so that they could check a box so that they would be in minimal compliance with um, a bullying prevention and intervention policy that they are mandated by state law to have. And Galuni had this stark promise for the public. With this, I intend to be very clear. Hatred and racism have no place in this community. And where this behavior becomes criminal, I will ensure that we act and act with swift resolve. Now, Galuni says one of the punishments when it comes to the civil rights interference could be juvenile delinquency, which could mean incarceration. We should also note Lopez's daughter has been back at Southwick Regional School since February 27th with a safety plan in place. We also reached out to the Southwick Regional uh, Superintendent's Office, but we have not yet heard back. Coming up at 6, the district attorney's action plan to combat racism and bullying in Hamden County Schools. For now, reporting live in the studio, Matt Price, Western Mass News. Matt.